to okay shabbat shalom um, yeah and um uh, the the parasha of this week is bo which means come and it is exodus chapter 10 verse 1 to chapter 13 verse 26 jeremiah chapter 46 verse 13 to 28 and then first corinthian chapter 11 first verse 20 to 34 and since we will be taking communion today it is most appropriate to read from there and by the way uh, after i finish saying what i have here uh, uh, bob jones is going to lead us in communion so if you are at home prepare yourself to to take it if you are taking it first corinthian chapter 11 verse 20 to 34 והנה כאשר אתם נאספים יחד למקום אחד, אין זאת כדי לאכול את סעודת הדון, כי כל אחד מקדים לאכול את ארוחתו, והתוצאה זה רעב וזה שיכור. האומנם אין לכם בתים לאכול ולשתות בהם? או שמא בזים אתם לקהילת אלוהים, ומביישים את מי שאין לו? ומה אומר לכם? אשבח אתכם? על זאת לא אשבח. אכן אני קיבלתי מאת האדון את אשר גם מסרתי לכם שהאדון ישלוע בלילה שהוסגר בו לקח את הלחם ברך בצע אותו ואמר זה גופי הנבצע בעדכם זאת עשו לזכרי כי גם לקח את הכוס לאחר הסעודה ואמר הכוס הזאת היא הברית החדשה בדמי זאת עשו לזכרי בכל עת שתשתו הן בכל עת שאתם אוכלים את הלחם הזה ושותים מן הכוס הזאת, אתם מזכירים את מות אדוננו עד שיבוא. לכן מי שאוכל מהלחם הזה או שותה מכוס האדון שלא כראוי, יהיה אשם לגבי גוף האדון ודמו, ויבחן נא איש את עצמו, וכך יאכל מן הלחם וישתה מן הכוס. כי האוכל והשותה מכל, מבלי לנהוג, הבחנה בגוף האדון אוכל ושותה דין לעצמו. מסיבה זאת רבים מכם חלשים וחולים ויש אשר מתו. אם נבחן את עצמנו לא נשפט, אבל כאשר האדון שופט אותנו הוא מייסר אותנו כדי שלא נורשע עם העולם. על כן אחי המתינו זה לזה וכשאתם נאספים לאכול מי שרעב יאכל בבית למען לא תעזפו למשפט, ואת יתר הדברים אסדר בבואי. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others, and one is hungry and another is drunk. What? Do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Yeshua on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he, took, he also took the cup after supper, saying, <clears throat> This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when the Lord judges us, we are chastened by, the, by him, uh, that we may not condemn with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment. And the rest I will set in order when I come.
Thank you, Rita. They must have had potlucks and people were misbehaving anyway. Um, uh, this is, uh, we have to do that. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, um, so as it is written, verse 27, therefore, whoever eats his bread or drink this cup, uh, um, this bread and this cup uh, of the Lord is unworthy manner, will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's uh, uh, body. So what is Paul saying here? Is he saying that if you are a sinner or if you sinned, you are not to, to eat or drink this cup? Well, in that case, <laughs> nobody should eat or drink from the Lord's cup, for we all sin, whether we know it or not, some deliberately and some undeliberately, and we, we don't even know sometimes when we sin. So, um, uh, well, my understanding is that Paul was saying unworthy manner to people who were taking the communion lightly, uh, you know, not feeling the weight of the uh, of the issue or appreciate the terrible suffering that Yeshua went through to achieve the for the forgiveness for them. Obviously, they were misbehaving even in the eating manner, you know. So it is like the children of Israel when God commanded them to to sacrifice and they did according to what he said, but uh, somewhere along the way, it became just a ritual. They didn't do it from the heart. And God said, I don't want your sacrifices. Like they didn't really appreciate his forgiveness and, and how much God himself did to forgive them for uh, after the animals were killed you know and now the issue is with, with yeshua are we eating and drinking uh, not really appreciating what he did you know i remember when i moved to ottawa one sunday i went to a church it was a baptist church they were serving communion uh, you know that day and um, at the time i was going to a very rough time moving from my home in Santa God here, a new city, and I had to adjust. And uh, I just didn't feel I was worthy enough to take it, that I was in the spirit to take communion. And so I was thinking, I'll leave the church. And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, if you do, I will have nothing to do with you. So the Lord came for sinners. And for those who have, who are exactly not, you know, very well, you know, he did, he said that he didn't come for the righteous, uh, he, uh, you know, he, he came for the sick and, uh, and his blood atones those who confess their sins. So in Mark chapter two, verse 17, it says, Yeshua said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. So let those verses not uh, put fear in our heart, you know, and understand what is it that Paul was saying. So therefore, before we take communion, we are to examine ourselves and repent from sins in a worthy manner in spirit and truth you know not not to take it like on one foot just oh i'm taking communion and that's it but discern the lord's body and appreciate the suffering he went through for us and appreciate his follow-up because he didn't leave us orphan you know i remember one time thinking to myself it is terrible to come to see you are a sinful person without knowing the remedy because then it's condemnation all the way but when you know that you have a redemption you are forgiven 
by the blood of Yeshua, it's totally different story. So it is written in Hebrew chapter 10, verse 10, by that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Yeshua Mashiach once and for all. And in verse 22, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an even evil, evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Yeshua. Uh, we are to keep walking in this sanctification and walk rightly with God and pray constantly for holiness. It is written also in verse 25, in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying, this cup in the new covenant in my blood, do this as often as you drink, as you drink it in remembrance of me. So taking communion is to remind us of the new covenant the Lord Yeshua made for each individual uh, and uh, his atoning by his atoning blood for the forgiveness of sins once and for all. In the Old Testament, it was for every sin, people had to bring the lamb and kill it before the Lord and repent. But here it is once and for all, in the spirit, it's enough that we speak to the Lord and ask him for forgiveness, and we are forgiven. If we ask him for forgiveness, he forgives. He said, he promised once and for all. It goes down deep in the sea. Even if you look for it, you won't find it. This evening, we will take communion. And so soon, uh, Bob is going to come and lead us uh, you know, so I hope you have prepared the drink and the and the matzah, uh, and um, please do judge yourself and ask all of us. Let us judge ourselves and ask forgiveness of what our conscience is accusing us of, uh, because our conscience is the Holy Spirit wrote the Torah on our heart, and our conscience tells us when we do something wrong. So we have to come to him with a clean conscience as we confess what we have done that does not please him. And therefore, we would not be condemned with the world. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.